Hi, I'm Yuna. Today I'm going to show you how to make ube mochi brownies. I know, a lot of words there. Ube mochi brownie. It's like you may have heard of mochi brownies, which is made with sweet rice flour. And I am turning it up a little bit by creating a purple, beautiful ube mochi brownie. So what is ube? Ube is a purple yam and it's very common in Japan, Hawaii, the Philippines, so warmer side of the world, if you will. Uh, and you probably want to know what it tastes like by itself. So that purple yam, I think in my opinion, tastes very mellow, nutty, and like vanilla-y. So very, very similar to sweet potato. And a lot of people use it, first of all, for color, because it's purple naturally. How beautiful is that? So first thing, we need a couple eggs. And from here, I'll just go ahead and whisk that up. And we need a can of coconut milk. So shake it up a little bit. <laughs> Full fat coconut milk. Don't buy the skim kind of stuff, please. If I'm already having coconut milk, um, I use this, the fat part of it to scramble eggs in it. It's delicious. So you don't need to buy coconut oil if you do that. So I've tried, oh! Wah, wah, wah. I've tried different kinds, like Jewel Osco tries to make their own, Whole Foods does too, like every grocery brand does that. Just not cutting it. Okay, so just keep stirring that around. And I'm gonna save that. Now, moving on to our sugar, because that's our wet ingredient. So one cup sugar. Yikes. There you go. One cup, gorgeous. All right, put that aside. Phenomenal. A little bit of, uh, what is it? A little bit of baking powder. Two teaspoons of that. Uh-oh. That looks like two teaspoons. Okay. Vanilla extract. About a tablespoon. Great amount. Add it in. Gorgeous. Now, I like to go ahead and add a purple powder as we go. So the recipe probably calls for, the recipe calls for ube extract. I get it, that's available. Um, I have the powder form, so I'm just gonna have to work a little bit harder. So I'm gonna add in until I accomplish the color that I'm looking for. So it's still not purple. So keep stirring it, right? I might have to use all of it. You want it to be vividly purple. So don't worry. Okay, it's getting there. From here on, we need 16 ounce rice flour. So that is a whole bag. I wasn't sure how much I needed. No, I'm sorry, eight ounce. So we need half the bag. Yeah, because I'll probably end up needing more. So the ube extract will definitely be more powerful and I think it's more effective because it creates that vibrant color. So before I forget is I'm going to melt the butter and don't ever waste your butter wrapper because we can use it right in the pan. I learned it in America. Thanks for all my frugal families I stayed with. Okay, so what I'll do is, because it's a half cup, one stick is a half cup, I'm going to just melt it ever so slightly. Give it like 30 seconds. Butter 
is melted. So I'm going to add it in as we stir. The butter mochi that they sell in Hawaii is out of this world. And it's, you know, if you think about the origin of the food, it's like they, you know, of course ate a lot of rice and they probably thought, oh my gosh, what else can I make with rice? Um, so it's a very versatile ingredient. All right, we're looking good. And since I'm here, come on. All right. Almost done. Done. This is a good feeling. Still not as purple as I would like it to be, but that's okay. All right. We're here and we're going to bake it for 30 minutes or so and then we should be good to go. It's a very tropical dessert if you think about it. What I like to do is just any possible air. Three, two, one. Woo! Oh yes. So this is it, you guys. I made ube mochi brownies. Oh my gosh, this feels so warm right now. And I'm still letting it cool. It's so chewy that it won't even come out of the pan. I'm gonna just gotta cut a piece, I'm gonna show you. So that's what it looks like. It's a little crumbly but it is so soft and it's nutty and vanilla -y and mellowy, like the texture and the, the, like the flavor of ube. I hope you make this because it's so easy to make and it's, I think it's a healthier brownie alternative because you saw what went in it and if you don't like chocolate, that's also a fantastic option and it's gluten-free, thousand percent. If we're not connected on Instagram or YouTube, I am at Yuna Cooks. Every week I upload a new video of whatever you would like me to make. So hit the subscribe button and like button and follow me on Instagram. I'll see you next week. I'm